Welcome to Cosmodent's Tip of the Month. I am Dr. Bruce LeBlanc, and I will be sharing techniques and materials that maximize the perimeter seal for composite restorations, resisting microleakage and ensuring long-term success. Creating durable posterior direct composites offers options for our patients that minimize tooth removal and initial costs. Here's a picture of two restorations done in 1988 at 23 years post op Worth noting is the marginal seal around the perimeter of both teeth, with no sign of brown line microleakage. Once the tooth has been prepared, a matrix should be positioned to create a mold that gives access, yet seals marginal proximal areas against weeping cellular fluids. Triodance V-ring is one of my favorites with its unique design. With the matrix solidly in place, the restorative material will be contained and molded as it is placed. Proper cleaning, etching, rinsing, and drying of the tooth surface following manufacturer's recommendation of application and curing of the bonding agent will allow intimate adaptation of the initial adhesive layer, creating the foundation for adhesive success. My tip of the month is the way I use global composite as a caulking material applied in the line angle between the matrix and the tooth, but not initially cured to allow it to be driven further into microvoids by the next layer of composite. The properly applied global caulking will appear very thin as seen in this photo, ready to be driven further into the voids by the next composite layer. A perimeter wall is then built with Cosmodent Nano to convert the class two into a class one restoration. By shaping the wall properly with instruments and a micro brush before curing, the global is driven ahead of the thicker Nano to complete the seal. After shaping the wall is completed, the composite is light cured. We have now created what I believe to be, as witnessed through patient follow-up in my practice, a maximized perimeter seal that will be highly resistant to microleakage and decay. The restoration is completed in layers, first applying but not curing foldable composite as a wetting agent. Painting the foldable only takes a few seconds and ensures a thin wetting layer. Nano is then molded over the flowable, ensuring maximum adaptation of the layers without gaps or voids. Each layer is cured at the adaptation of the nano. Cosmodent titanium instruments are an excellent choice for shaping, sculpting, and marginating the final layers. The Cosmodent finishing and polishing system is an excellent choice for creating highly polished restorations that maintain luster over time. Using this technique, Renamel Flowable and Nano Hybrid can build restorations that maximize perimeter seal and restoration longevity. Here's the clinical case. Please note that proper isolation, such as a rubber dam or isolite, is essential to preventing fluid contamination. The completed restoration shows seamless margination that seals the tooth, creating a restoration that minimizes tooth removal while maximizing longevity. Thank you for sharing this time with me. I hope these ideas help you to enjoy bonding even more and provide your patients with direct composite restorations that they will find amazing.